Boom, overhand. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten punches before he even has time to fall to the ground. Those are fast hands. All right, welcome back for another edition of PFL's Run It Back. Sean O'Connell here, and today joined by Joao Zeferino, the Brazilian samurai. We're going to take a look at his PFL League debut, a knockout victory over Paul Bradley. Joao, what's going on, man? Hey, what's up, guys? Um, yeah, here in Brazil, enjoying the quarantine, you know. All right, so we're going to throw it all the way back to 2018, the first regular season bout that you had in the new format against Paul Bradley. You ready to run it back? Yeah, let's run it back. All right, so here it is. Joao Zeferino, Paul Bradley. Now, Joao, one thing I remember about this night, uh, it was a packed house in Washington, D.C. Yeah, it was a lot of people. I had a lot of people like supporting me. And it was a fight that I was uh, the underdog, you know. Everyone thought I was like crazy fighting Paul Bradley. He was like such a stud. I was ready to go. And he's got eight knockouts. Zeferino's got three, so if he can keep this fight on the feet, he might win this thing. This is a guy with an all-American wrestling pedigree. You obviously have slick submission game. What was the game plan? But of course, I was trying to implement my submission game. But, you know, like I have good hands, so I feel like the first, the first time he tried to kick me, I was like, okay, I start to see like I was like, uh, everything is low motion, so I, I, was, in the, I was flowing. So I, I was like very confident to strike with him. We find out very quickly that you're faster than Paul Bradley. It's all hands here, and your hands look good. 15 submission victories, three knockouts, but his striking looks great. Hey, like I don't see myself only like, as a submission, uh, especially as a jiu-jitsu guy. It's everything, you know, it's everything. You gotta be ready for everything. Okay, here it comes. Oh, big right hand. Fake, boom, overhand. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, after he got rocked, ten punches. Bring it up. Oh, Ten punches before he even has time to fall to the ground. Those are fast hands. And that looked exactly like when uh, Vitor took out Vanderlei. Yeah, I remember that. It was, uh, yeah, it, was, it was like very similar, you know, a lot of punches. And he was like pretty much knocked out in the standing. Wow, everything connected. Very, very sharp. Joao Zeferino there. It was a beautiful finish, for sure. <laughs> Once I hit the first one, man, it was just like a... Automatic, you know, like a machine gun. 21 miles an hour that fist came at Bradley's head. Pretty amazing. Great combinations. Zeferino on fire tonight. That gave you six points, which yeah. if I'm not mistaken, uh, that puts you right atop the welterweight standings at the time. Is that correct? I, I was the first in the, the first seed, yeah. How much do you still think about the fact that the missed opportunity of season one and what you could have accomplished had you stayed healthy? I don't stay in the past. It's what is it's about what comes next, you know? I know season three is gonna come and I'm gonna be ready, so that's all that matters for me. Watching your division, right? We've seen MAGA win it all. We saw Ray Cooper the third win it this past year. How do you think you we have yet to see you face off with the guys who've won season one and season two championships? How do you think Joao Zeferino matches up with MAGA and with Ray Cooper the third? I think MAGA has like a has more skills than Ray Cooper. You know, he's a good striker. He has a good wrestling, has some submissions. But I feel that I'm, I have uh, uh, more tools in my toolbox. I feel like uh, I'm definitely like a more complete fighter. And uh, when it comes to Ray Cooper, he's very tough, man. Like really heavy hands. But I feel like I have like main advantage over him. A lot, a lot more skills and uh, I have like a longer reach. Of course he can use that. He can use all his power and all that, man. I don't take anything from him. He, he won last year, but I feel like I'm, bad, I'm the better fighter. Rory McDonald, who's one of the best welterweights in the world for the last decade, he's now part of the PFL roster. Is that a fight you'd be interested in? Absolutely. I feel like uh, a win over him would put me like on top, you know, and uh, he's another guy who's like a great fighter. And, that, and I'm just excited to go there and fight against these guys, you know, test myself and show, and show who I am.
what you wanna do. If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you.